So this question says triangle PQR has right angle Q. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna treat this like a plug-in picture question, which just says anytime a question describes something that can be drawn, you should go ahead and draw it. So here's my right triangle. Here's my right angle. I'm gonna label that as Q, like the question said. I'm gonna put P and R at my other vertices here. Uh, the question goes on to say, if sine R equals four fifths, all right, so what do I do with that? Sine, remember sine of an angle, I'll just say sine R, is equal to the opposite, right? It's equal to this ratio where it's the opposite side length of the triangle over the length of the hypotenuse. So from angle R, the opposite side is here. So that numerator is opposite, meaning that that would correspond with the length of four. And then the hypotenuse, the longest side is here, this PR. And that would correspond with the denominator of the ratio, which is equal to five. Now, knowing that, I can figure out the length of QR. So there's a couple ways to do it. One is a Pythagorean theorem. This is a bit of the longer way to do it, but that is fine. Which would say a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Keep in mind, c is always the length of the hypotenuse whereas A and B are the lengths of the legs, doesn't matter which order. So I have a leg of four, so I'm gonna say I have four squared plus B squared, because I don't know what this side length is, I'll call it B, is equal to five squared, right? Because the hypotenuse is five. So this becomes 16 plus B squared equals 25. I subtract 16 from both sides here, and I'm left with B squared equals nine, square root both sides, and I get B equals three. So this, side length here is equal to three. Now I could have gotten there much quicker by remembering, and I'll go up to the top of my page, that there's a special right triangle that is called a three, four, five ratio, right? So as soon as you see two out of the three options here, right, we had four and five, we automatically know the other side must be three. Okay, so we have the size of our right triangle. The question asks, what is the value of the tan of P? Well, the tangent, ratio for a tangent of an angle, so let's say tan P, is equal to the length of the opposite side over the length of the adjacent side, right? And all of this, by the way, um, is coming from Sokotoa. So if you don't remember that, please try to remember it, write it down. Uh, so SOH stands for sine is opposite over hypotenuse, something we already dealt with over here. CAH, which is not a part of this question, has to do with the cosine, and I'll say cosine x, is equal to the adjacent, the length of the adjacent side of the right triangle, divided by the hypotenuse. And then TOA is a tangent, right, which we just saw. It's the opposite over the adjacent. So the tan of P, we go to angle P here, and I'll use a different color. We go to angle P here. The opposite of angle P is actually down here, which is three. So that's equal to three in the numerator. And then the adjacent, right, which is not the hypotenuse, so the other remaining side, the adjacent to angle P is here, so four. All right, so my answer is three fourths.